Hello, and welcome to the 75th episode of Rivers Arcade Review. My name is Ed. My channel is dedicated to the coin-operated video games of yesteryear. For this episode, I decided to go all the way back to the first game I remember playing, Gunfight. Gunfight was released in 1975 by Midway. My first time playing this game was at the Schwartz Resort Hotel in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Gunfight is a fixed shooter game in which you control your cowboy with a dual joystick configuration. Each player uses an 8-way joystick to control their cowboy and a 2-way up-down joystick to control their pistol. What makes this control system unique is the right controller is shaped like the handle of a pistol with a trigger to fire. There are two sets of controls, one for each player. This is a black and white game, although there was a yellow transparency to give the game color. This game is based on the old western shootouts like seen in older movies. This game is for two players only since there was no computer AI. The game begins with the cowboy on each side of the screen. The playfield is divided into thirds. Each cowboy is able to move within their third of the playfield, although you can't move your cowboy into the center of the playfield. You can move around to either dodge the opponent's shots or line up your cowboy to get a better shot at your opponent. The object of this game is to shoot the other cowboy before they shoot you. You are able to control the angle of your shots by pushing up or down on the gun-shaped joystick. You can use the top and bottom of the playfield to ricochet your shots in order to hit your opponent. Each time you shoot your opponent, they will fall backwards and their hat will land on top of them and there will be a graphical got me. After shooting an opponent, an obstacle will be placed on their side of the playfield. The first obstacles that will be put in place will be a cactus. Once each side has three cacti, the next two obstacles will replace one of the cacti with a tree until you have two trees and one cactus. These obstacles are able to be destroyed by shooting them, although if the obstacle is on your side of the screen, your bullets are able to go right past them without being stopped. There will also be an obstacle in the center portion of the screen. There will be a cactus in the center of the playfield which can be destroyed on either side by gunshots. Once either player has three cactus obstacles on their side of the screen, the center cactus will be replaced by a covered wagon that will move up and down the center of the playfield. This wagon is bulletproof so you need to shoot around it. Since this is a time game, there is no limit to the number of lives you will get for the game. The game is played in rounds. Each round will begin with each cowboy on the respective side of the screen. Each cowboy will begin with six bullets for their gun. The remaining bullets are displayed at the bottom of the screen. Each time you fire, one bullet will be removed from your stock. Each round will end once either cowboy is shot. If you run out of bullets, you will be defenseless for 10 seconds. During this time, the opponent will be able to shoot at you while you are unable to shoot back. If the 10 seconds expire, the round will end and you will move on to the next round. The game will end when the main timer reaches zero. The management has the ability to change the base time from 60 to 90 seconds in 10 second increments. I have fond memories playing this game with my brother and would recommend playing it if you can find it in an arcade setting since it is a nice piece of arcade history and emulation doesn't do the game justice since it doesn't have the gun shaped controllers. I like this game more than Lunar Rescue but not as much as Jump Coaster so Gunfight shoots its way into the 64th position overall. Thank you for watching this and all my previous videos and helping me make it to my 75th episode. If you have any games you would like me to review, please leave me a message below or on my homepage. Please remember to hit like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned to new videos every Wednesday and Sunday.